Assessments Committee will be forced to summon former ESCC boss Halake Wako for failing to honor the committee's invitation twice. Halake Wako was invited before the committee to shed light on his entanglement with one company that was awarded 347 million shillings after its director mentioned him as one of the signatories. After failing to honor the Public Investments Committee invitations twice, the chairman Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir says the committee will be forced to summon former EACC boss Alakiwako, considering the weighty case before him. This is the second one that he has not yet. So uh, failure to which, then this committee will be left with no option but to issue summons that he is brought here. All right. On its course to unearth Kemsa scandal, the committee on Friday had pressed Villa Supplies directors Neema Mugambi and the 25-year-old Sylvia Mugambi over 150 million tender from Kemsa despite flaunting procurement laws. Mtu wa mekupatia barua ya biashara milioni miya moja karibu hamsini. Unanambia wata humjui jina lake. Sasa na kuuliza tena. Ni director of procurement. Ni nani? Nataka kuregelea tena ni Charles Juma. Yes. Kwa hivyo Charles Juma alikuambia na mapema ya kwa bei ambayo kwamba itakuwekwa ni 1500. Hiyo ndio bei walitupea kwa sababu sisi nje tulikuwa tunauza 1500 ama 1500 kwa hizi ndogo ndogo. A similar tale narrated by Karesha Limited Director Caroline Mushemi who got a tender worth 95 million shillings but according to her she could not tell the names of the procurement officers in Kemsa and peace queried over the uniform prices to all companies did followed did their work very well but they were not paid up to date so on friday you gave out an invoice and then on on a tuesday wednesday you have all your money paid you really need to tell us exactly what you did or what special or whom you saw there so that you are paid it is 24th of thank you June, eh? um I would like to answer. I would like to answer that there was nothing special. Wabunge wa Kishangai weje walilipwa fedha zao rahisi licha ya kutofuata sheria ilhali kampuni halali zilikosa kulipa hadi wa leo. Is there a specific person and this sometimes happens eh with, with business people. Is there a specific person in Kemsa who you talk to who has in this process? You know, it's a common practice. It, it happens. Uh, and that's what normally some business people do. First of all, you're going to supply this much goods uh, without the contract. So I asked what this means. And they say it's a commitment letter. It's a direct procurement, meaning you will supply the goods. Every single person who walks in here is using the auspices that this was an emergency. If it was an emergency, we would not be having 97% of this stock lying there. It was not an emergency. Different from all other companies before the committee on Friday, Omaira Pharmaceuticals followed the required procurement laws on their 50 million tender, but one of its directors died a month. His wife took over running the company. The direct immediate family businesses. So I know, and I know even now as I sit in Omaira, not just about cancer. Omaira is number one in compliance in terms of distribution and doing business with institutions. I personally now, even without him, cannot break any rule on compliance. So you just work what he has done? That is what we did and that is what I am doing and that is what I will do. Okay. Uh, I hope you won't find this question very too personal. Uh, was the death of your husband uh, COVID-related? No, he got a heart attack. Elizabeth Mutuko.